Welcome back everybody, it's Malik, and we're going to uh, go off on a little tangent here. Uh, I'm going to show you a site that, uh, that, that I, I really like. I've been, I've been playing around with this site for years. Um, it's called hackthissite.org. Now the way we're going to work this is I'm going to walk you through uh, basic missions, some realistic missions, uh, we'll get into maybe, probably some stego missions, maybe even some IRC, some app missions, um, but to stay true to the site. When I, I start going through these missions, uh, I, I'll point you into the right direction, but I would suggest you, you pause the video and try to figure out those things I'm pointing you to and then go back and try to get through it yourself only as a last resort uh, unpause the video and then I'll show you exactly how to do it and I'll, ex I'll explain the concepts behind it there's not a bunch of concepts in the first couple For the first couple are just uh, understanding a, couple, a little bit of basic knowledge uh, when it comes to how things are built um, so you know I'm, I'm gonna do a little pause there I suggest you to pause the video and then only when you're completely stuck watch the rest of the video and you'll see how to get in alright but it's it's hack this site.org create yourself an account it, you'll it, it's it's a huge accomplishment when you get through these missions you can't do mission 2 until you've done mission 1 so they will not allow you to kind of skip around in the basic missions. You know, you, you can't do the one after until you do the one before. Uh, so, but it's a really cool accomplishment when you get by the missions. And then some of them will drive you nuts. Some of these missions I've completed in you know, five, ten seconds. Some of them have taken me two to three weeks to try to figure out how to get through. Um, but it's just a, it's a huge amount of fun. Um, again, if, if if you like these videos, please you know give me a give me a thumbs up on these things and uh, you know subscribe to the channel to to follow all the videos that I post um, and let me know if there's any particular thing you want. Uh, I'm making these videos for for all of you out there uh, that are uh, mostly I'm doing it you know for for the people that that do CEH and CASP and advanced security and stuff like that. Um, a lot of them I know they're they're personal friends of mine, uh, but I'm making this for for all of you guys. So I want you to really get into this stuff and and enjoy it. All right, and and it also helps to to go through some things that I, I teach in class a lot. When I I tell these people, don't just configure something because you read somewhere. This is how you configure it. Understand why you're configuring it the way you are, because if you understand why it works and how it works then then you're you're far more advanced than a lot of other people that I know um, some people can configure anything if they're following steps but they don't know why they're clicking on anything so they really don't understand the background of it if you understand the background it makes this so much easier so let's go ahead and bust into into mission number one basic mission number one now I'm not gonna get points for these because I've already beat them but here it is basic test your skills to see if you can do any of these missions the only requirement is knowing a little bit of HTML so I'm going to click on basic one and I'll zoom in a little bit here just so you can see it a little bit easier here we go and it basically just tells us that this is what we call the idiot test if you can't complete it do not give up but don't go begging for someone else for the answer that's one way to get you hated or made fun of and enter the password again they give you really the biggest hint that you need you must learn HTML if you don't know HTML you're not gonna go very far when you start trying to pen test web servers so HTML as you know this page that we're looking at does not look this away when you're looking at the code there is code behind this page how do we find out the code 
how do we view the code. Once you figure that out, you can complete this mission very, very easily. So, I suggest you pause the video. If you don't know how to view the code, Google it. Figure out how to view the code of a page, a regular HTML page. And then, try to find the password. So, pause the video. I'm not going to pause mine, but pause your video. See if you can figure out how to find the code. And then I'll, uh, we'll get back together again and we'll, we'll finish this one up. Okay. So hopefully you paused the video. Because I didn't pause mine, so for those of you who didn't pause it, you just heard like a one second break. Uh, but hopefully if you didn't know how to do it, you, you googled how to view... The, the source code of a page. It depends on your browser. I use Firefox because I typically, I typically run Firebug, but in Firefox if you right click the page you can go right to view the page source. This is the code, the HTML code that draws the page that you're looking at. Well, everything on that page has a line or a bunch of lines. So it may take some time to kind of scroll down and find what you're looking for because there's a lot of stuff in here that you don't really see. Uh, everything that's up here in the head, there's something that, that shows the head tag and then somewhere along the line you're going to find where it says close head or it's going to have the forward, so it's going to have the slash head. So all that stuff is part of the head. And again, eventually somewhere down here, uh, and I've already passed it, but you'll find out where it actually closes the head. That's the stuff that's kind of behind the scenes. Now, if they put the password in here, it, it could be anywhere. So, there could be an easier way to find it. Again, you may just have to scroll through here. You know, they can stick it anywhere. And by the way, there's the, there's the close head. So, everything before that, you don't see on the page. All this other stuff are things that you see on the page, like links, some of the text, HTS message center, yada yada yada. But what we're looking for is a password. Well, to make life easy, why don't you just do a find? Type in the word password and tell it to highlight them all. Okay? So as we start scrolling down, we'll be able to see anywhere where where password is is highlighted oops I need to tell it oops type it in again password tell it to highlight all of them so there we go there's the line that says uh, enter the password you can continue uh, but look here on line 142 the first few levels are extremely easy password is if you did your research on HTML, you know that's nothing but a comment line. It does not show up on the page, even though it is in the section that normally shows up on the page. But right there is what we want. So I'm going to copy it, go back to the site, paste it in, and submit it. And it told me I completed basic one. Of course, it says I completed it again. No points were awarded, but uh, that got me into the site. All right, so the next video I'll do will be for basic mission number two. Just kind of hang around. And again, if you like these, just give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, so hang around. Uh, basic mission number two will be coming up.